Hey everybody, it's Kimberly Michelle here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I watercolored this panel that I created in Cricut Design Space and my Cricut Explorer drew it out for me. I'll have a full list of supplies on my blog and here are just some simple watercolors I'm using for this and a clipboard. First thing I'm going to use is use this painter's tape and what this is going to do, I'm going to secure this to my board and it's going to prevent warping of the watercolor paper. And my Cricut Explorer did cut out the watercolor paper, paper without any difficulties and I just used my custom setting. So the first thing I'm going to do is lay down some water because I'm going to create my background first. And this all makes sense at the end. It just makes it a lot easier, I found out. So I'm going to mix some blue and green to create a kind of a teal color. And I'm just going to dab that down in just random spots. And next I'm going to use some yellow. The yellow in this is pretty bright. These are Crayola watercolors. So I'm going to add just a hint of purple. And what this will do is tone back that brightness of the yellow. And then I'm going to put that in some more areas. And then what I'm going to do, so this isn't the focus of my card, is I'm going to tone it down a little bit. And to do that, I'm going to blot it with a paper towel, and it makes this very soft background. So I'm going to proceed with watercoloring, and I am going to let some music play so I don't bore you to death, and I'll catch up with you at the end.
So you can see how it came together. Next, you're going to trim off the white edges of your watercolor panel. And when it's trimmed, it's gonna measure just a little bit smaller than a four and a quarter and five, by five and a half inches. And before I put it on my card, I'm going to add a little bit more bling with some glitter glue. And these are the colors that I'm using. And I let those dry really well. What's really important with this is you're going to want to put a lot of adhesive on the back of your watercolor panel so it will lay flat. And see, when you taped it down, it didn't hardly warp at all. It looks, it turned out really well. I'm very happy with how this turned out. I will have the Cricut Design Space file available on my blog, like I said, along with uh, details and a list of supplies. If you have any questions, please let me know and let me know if you like these kinds of videos. So please like and subscribe and share. And here's are some other cards I made. Bye bye.